truth or sip on On the Rocks with Alexander. Okay, so truth or sip? Curly, you're first. What's a video that you made that you were like, did I really make that? Can I take it down? But it's, oh my it, god, it's there. so many. Uh, can I give you like the serious answer really fast? Yeah. So when you grow up like an, on YouTube, essentially, which I did, I started yes, in my mid twenties and now I'm in my early thirties, right? Um, I basically like have been thinking out loud in front of people for almost a decade, close to a decade. So there are a lot of things that I've said that I'm like. <gasps> Like, not offensive, but I'm like, oh, I would never say that now. But I think that's what people love about you and why you've become so popular over all of the influencers out there. Because oh you God. are very real and you've shared some real moments and your growth has yeah. been our growth. And do you mean that you wouldn't have said it because that's something you would have held private or something because you now don't feel that way? Because I now don't feel that way. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, look, I'm well, we very, all have changed yeah, the way I'm, we thought. It's just a thing where, uh, you know, back in the day I used to be like, why are there so many girls at this gay bar? I can barely get to the bar and get a drink. Like, um, and now I'm like, oh, women should be everywhere. Like, literally, I don't women care. The, 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 I feel like that's a whole different thing to open up because there that's should the also whole be safe, episode. There should be safe spaces for everyone, and yes, sometimes I, they sometimes. And this is not speaking for all women, but like sometimes, not speaking for all women at all. People should let safe spaces be safe spaces, and if you're absolutely. not going to make it a safe space, then you shouldn't be there. Yeah, that's, that's why they have women only gym. That's why they have women only. And that doesn't, and that doesn't mean that women shouldn't be there. It just means that you should right. be yeah. respectful if you're there. But, but I, I, I think, don't get drunk and throw up over my Gucci shoes with your third Pinot Grigio because you're getting married. <laughs> Stop talking about your Gucci. <laughs> <laughs> Look, cis hat people for sure. I get it that they can be a little annoying, but I just want to be like, oh, I have definitely changed from being like to like whatever. Who cares? I don't own this bar. Who gives a shit? I'm leaving it at ten thirty anyways. But it is a very different thing when you're just you're. You're just tired. You want to be around your own people and just relax and feel safe. Mm. Yeah. It's okay. a, it, yeah. It's more about relaxing and feeling safe than your own people, I think. Yeah. But, yes. but, yeah, I, yeah. but I will say there's one that I do get really embarrassed okay. about I'll recently where they asked me to make a sandwich with my mouth in like oh. 10, 12 seconds. And I was like I making the sandwich one. with my mouth. And I'm like, Curly, we're better yeah. than this. Like, yeah, we <laughs> like, we're done. We don't need to be making sandwiches with our mouth, with our mouth anymore. That's a video I would be like, no. Like, I mean, I'll wear a B costume. Eat a sandwich with my mouth. You be, I mean, <laughs> well, I hope so. What else are you gonna do? Power love, bottom. His, his, there he, goes the sandwich. He said he loves a good dad joke, so that was a good. <laughs> mm, okay, Patrick, who's a celebrity that you've interviewed that you were like, don't need to interview them again? Hated it. Oh, um, it's not so much hated it as much as just like, okay, like that was an experience that I had in my life. Um, uh, Ryan Lochte, I'm sure, is a lovely person, but oh, because uh, he's so dumb, <laughs> it, 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 it's maybe not dumb. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, it is more so that the question would be like, oh, you have this new... It was when he was going to have his e-reality show. Oh, you have this new e-reality show. Part of it is that you're launching a fashion line. Like, what made you want to do that? I really like fashion. <laughs> oh, when did you get into fashion? Mm. I'm not really sure. Like, it was it, it was like there was 10 questions for what... And, and so I remember the piece. The piece I ended up being... It, it was a... Because, like... Uh, it was a quarter page in in People magazine, and which is maybe a hundred words, maybe. Uh, and I think I had to ask about fifteen questions to get enough to fill that hundred words. And so that wow. is not a dig against him. People aren't great on camera. People aren't great. It, like, they but he had a whole reality show about him, so he should be good on. It camera. It lasted barely a season, and there's That's many true. clips of his interviews, not with you, with other people. That it's in fact one of the newscasters got the giggles. She snorted oh, yes, because I've seen that. yeah. Um, <laughs> but I've had like I've I had a top travel influencer on the show because he's muscly. What about and, a bottom travel and whatever? Influencer. That's true. Yeah. What about the bottoms? <laughs> Um, and uh, so I right said, here already. What do you mean? So people, I'm I'm a blouse. I'm a... People, when I go on the first date and people take me home and we're like, "Okay, go," and they're like, "Okay, you go." And I'm like, uh, <laughs> "No." Um, <laughs> but I had one of these whatever influence because he shirtless and every like orbits, gay orbits, hired him, yeah, whatever. Like the gum. No, the travel site. Oh, like I wouldn't be the, the gum. gum too. Yeah, <laughs> he probably couldn't chew gum and talk at the same time. He'd probably oh, swallow God. it and then die. Um, but his top, his top tip for traveling. <laughs> what, I keep saying top, but he was not a top. Um, was to bring a smartphone. <laughs> I mean, good tip. Good tip. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is just getting worse and worse. Okay. Again, top. Okay, yeah, Patrick, yeah, yeah. Um, what headline subject won't quit, but it really should because you were totally over it, but you would still have to cover it? Oh, God. That's one I'd have to think about, I think, to give you the like best answer. Megan uh, Markle? No, I love Meghan Markle, and I think, I think uh, that's cares? fascinating. I like What's fascinating about it? 
I think it's fascinating that this woman who was the first person of color that's part of the royal family. Yeah. Okay, was now you, you word it that way. Now I'm seeing like a jerk with the iMac in Hollywood too, <laughs> Immaculate Heart, which is like a really every cool... American is obsessed with this royal family. It's like well, we're not we broke no, away no, from them for a her. reason. I'm upset. Uh, like I, I'm not not uh, like I think the royal family is fascinating for on their own, but I do think that it's fascinating watching how she is treated versus how um, Megan, how uh, oh. no, not even Princess Diana, um, how um, Kate Middleton is. But treated. Kate Middleton followed the rules. I mean, she wore pantyhose. Fair, but she's also white, and yeah. a lot of things that she was I not don't know criticized about the for. Stuff, by the way, I don't. I was like, was that a thing? Or... <laughs> well, I mean, if you want to get into it, I mean, we could literally do a show just with hot topics. I mean, I would love that. Okay, so so what's the subject? Oh God, I I, I have to re- repeat the question. What's a headline subject that you're so over that you're like, God damn? But if it came across again, you'd have to report on it. Oh man, I I'm I'm losing a lot of friends by saying this, but I just like I watched the first season of The Real Housewives of New Jersey. But aside from that, because it was it was when I first got a DVR and it was it, there was not summer programming at the time, and so that season was that. After that, like I I just I I don't I don't. Care I've never about watched Housewives. an episode about Housewives ever. I don't think I've ever. Sean, we're done. It doesn't like I, I don't know why like I just feel like oh, oh my god no, you guys it, it gives me no se me da la onda like I don't like I don't it has, I don't hold anything ugly. against it yeah exactly it's gotten ugly over the last couple of years so even I but we have a lot of housewives on the show oh amazing. they're great I love them they're they're fascinating as people make your check make your money but I'm just it's not me that's watching it and I'm not their demographic like I'm not the one that I'm sure I also they. wouldn't not watch it I just don't oh, like I that's just, the thing I would much rather I'm watch not like else. morally against it you know how people want to win an Academy Award I really want to have a Bravo show or be one of the housewives uh-huh. that's it and then I'd be done okay. I just want to be Andy Cohen <laughs> You guys might not be, be Andy Cohen, but like yes, I know what, what, what he does. Yes. yes. Um, Curly, show me your last DMs. Um, oh, my phone is off. Do you want me to wait? To turn is it that back for on? real? Yeah, it is. I okay. It, I turn it off out of respect. Turn it back on. Both of you. <laughs> what's a Latin custom? What's a Latin custom or food or element that you're like, nope, don't get it. Don't want it. Chicharrones. Chicharrones? Really? I love it. I love chicharron. A Latin- I just, I, I don't mind the taste. I, well, I, I don't love the taste, but I think the fact that it's like when you start to describe to me everything that's a part of it, I'm just like, oh, oh that sounds I gross. love our food. Like, I get embarrassed. So, Salvadorians have a soup called Sopa de Pata, and it's literally oh, the, no, I it's the it. cow soup, and it's try. Oh, me encanta. I love it. Oh, give me lengua. I'm oh, fine with the, I'm fine with so our food. Good. Just like chicharrones. You can give particular. me lengua any day. Oh Wait, God. I want to know. While he's pulling up his phone, I want to know yours, though, Alexander. Um, uh, I think it's like the tripe in, in their soup. You like, know, like my grandma used to eat tripe it's all the so time. Good. It's also like the that tripe is trifling. That's the end, though. You're it, losing it. Oh no. Um, I will say this: the one that I don't like is that I come from like a music snob family. So like merengue, cumbia, salsa. My dad has collected music. Oh, forever. that could be mine. So too. like every time there are a lot of good merengue songs out there, but for some reason and salsa songs out there, but they a lot of times the parties will always, will always play like Elvis Crespo. And it's like pintame or like suavemente, and you're to like, me it's girl, the same beat over it's and over. It sounds song, like, like a circus. With hot sauce. I just sounded just like Elvis Crespo, by the way. If you don't like, I that was and also he also he now I think that counts as a singing if he doesn't answer a question now. True. Oh, thank you, Patrick. <laughs> what is a pet peeve about Matt, your husband, that you haven't told him ever? Oh, we actually aired. Curly was there when we did it. We aired a lot of our pet peeves during our vows. Um, <laughs> yeah, Curly was there. Guess who wasn't there? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that what? wedding was so fun, by the Shut way. Shut up. You know what? Was it looking Tom Spring? <laughs> I think I was Men's Warehouse, right? Uh, no, they were not. Oh. They were really cute. But you know what's really funny when you go to gay weddings? Any queer. Please tell or, me how amazing this wedding was. No, more, every, please. Everybody, a lot of the gay men will always be in a navy blue suit. I don't know if you noticed that too. Because like, it clings to the right places and it showcases it without it being like. Well, boom. that's the cut. I think what it. What, I think what's funny is that, like, if you're. <laughs> what, I, what I do think is funny compared to, compared to hetero weddings where, like, Women just know don't wear white. Yeah. When you when you go to a gay wedding, gays don't follow any of those. Well, rules. one they wouldn't they follow the rules. Care. They wouldn't follow the rules regardless. But like when you go to a gay wedding, it's like there is no rules, and so yes. it's like you don't know what color the grooms are going to be wearing, and so like. But it's usually navy blue and like grays, especially the maroon, light gray because then you can really see Matt the bulge. maroon. Uh, yes, I, I wore. Know. It's actually. It's actually. I saw the pictures. It's actually the 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 photo that you used in the promos for this is uh, a shot from our wedding. Our wedding photographer. Oh, shoot. nice! Notice I didn't include any wedding pictures, by the way. <laughs> anyway, okay. So, what's a pet peeve about Matt? That you um, told him? It's not something I haven't told him, but it's something that I don't think that he's okay, yet this, accepted. Well, this one is 
you have not told him. I don't have one that I haven't told him because oh, you guys we're are the like, perfect couple. Well, we're not perfect, but we're They're, they are perfect. They're really close. I've, They're so sweet. I've always no, said sweet. the one thing, and I put this in my vows. I said if we ever fight, we will always make the fight about what the fight's about. I love that. And that's so, important. People have to know how to fight. That's yeah. not fun. Are you Latino or not? We well, love to break. I know exactly. fight. Ten years ago. Fight. Yeah. No, yeah. you don't. Like that's that's the toxic part. You yeah. can't you can't carry that with you. So what I will say is one thing that I feel like he hasn't accepted yet, which maybe gets to your juiciness of it all, is is uh there are how many times I've been like oh, yesterday I told you we have to go here tomorrow at 2. And he'll be like, you never said that. And I'll be like, nope, 100%. And then there's been times that like, I've been able to show receipts of like, I told you this. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> That's so cute. I wish, you know, I I wish that for the both of us, that we can find somebody that that's our biggest thing because my thing is like oh girl. I have issues on date one like that's, that's all I know well, I will say that you also have to there's a like to get to the point that you want to marry somebody I think you have to you have to also <laughs> we looked at each other like marriage just kidding you have to marriage. Just saying, which I would marriage. love to yeah um, you have to be willing to say to both be boring to both, be, to both be boring but also no but also just the opposite you keep have to challenge more and more and more that is also a way to what look at it. What were you going to say? We're all cutting you off. And- I was going to say. Because I don't hear about happiness. <laughs> I was going to say, you have to get to a point where the, you're just like, here are the things I'm willing to compromise and here are the things I'm not. And as long as you find somebody that aligns with the things that you're willing to compromise mm. on, but not, you're That's good. beautiful. I love it's that. It's so like perfect though. I mean, it's I like- just got out of a relationship, so I know exactly like that. Like, but that you know, but thing. you know, but because I was in other relationships that I was like, maybe I could see this going to be a lifelong thing. And then it get to a point that I was like, Oh no! I could never be okay with this yeah. aspect. See, that's when you like. I think, especially in the gay community, we just let things, we let red flags go by, we let instances go by. And it's like you know, we have to not be afraid to be like, nope, this is not for me. Even if I gave it a mm. year, even if I gave it two years, mm. if it's not for you, it's not for you. From date one to six years into it, yeah. don't settle anymore. Mm. I think we learned that all during COVID, we all had to be within ourselves, and we knew what we liked. If we wanted to walk around naked, yes. or you know, watch Bewitched for twelve hours a day, or Judge Judy. Oh, I have to watch that. Uh huh. It's good, but we You're don't have about to the compromise. Kidman movie, right? So I reported this in my movie news. She said her doing the Lucille Ball film is very challenging. It's been one of the most challenging roles for her, mm. just because of the of the vocal part of it, mm. and that she wants Hollywood to cast her in more comedies over and over. And I was like, um, <laughs> "Did you see Bewitched? We tried, girl. We tried." What? Yeah. I'm um, sad, I will say that Matt was actually a big part of like helping me in my relationship, and I would roll my chair over to his desk and just ask him relationship Matt's questions. Matt's just so great. Like He's so sweet. And he... Um, That's he, the key to a successful marriage, just marrying a fantastic person. He's so amazing. <laughs> Both so of I, you are so amazing. You took well, him, so there's none left in LA. What, I mean, that's... They want to feel your chakras. That's, that's true. That's, oh. that's fair. No, that's sometimes a good thing. <laughs> they want oh, God, but don't word it that way. <laughs> Why? I love that. That is the way to my heart. Like, I'm I'm what we call, like, a lot of people call, like, an earth gay. Like, I, you come to my house, just plants. No, Curly, one of my favorite concerns. videos of but Curly is, is him literally burying a leaf. Oh yeah, I was I was like, it's one of my prayers that I do. See, if we were dating, I would constantly be like, this bitch. That's all my videos would be like, this bitch, this bitch, and that's that fine too, as long as you both are okay with but that. But I think that it's is funny, fine. and it's fun. I think you know, yin and yang. Anyway, Curly, what's something that you do in real life that you would be horrified to capture on social media? Oh, that you uh, just do regularly. And you're like, nope, that's not going on social oh, media. Oh, I smell things on my body. Like oh, I, I like touch God. it, and I'm like, oh, that, that oh. smells good. That smells good. You check it. Don't you do that? I How like- many parts of your body are you able to smell? Well, he's walking around naked all the time, so there's... there's right, but like, is he also like a yogi? Oh, God! Well, no. I mean, like, if you touch your inner thigh... Got you. you. smell Got like, you. you. You're like, you're like, scoop and you smell. You check your belly button. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I like my own smell. I don't care. Like, if it's if it's somebody else... And that's my thing. If I date somebody else and they're, like, stinky, I'm like, oh, no. But if it's me and I'm a little stinky, I kind of like I don't it. mind a little must. Especially after the gym, don't take a shower. Let's. Oh no, have lunch. I do. I can't do that. I'm very like. Oh no, I don't oh. like it on other people, but on me, I'm okay. Like I like it a little bit. It's like when you pop a pore and you just stare at it for a while. That's another thing that I do too. Nobody does that. No one. Does. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. I'm with you. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, well, this one's but, out. That's why okay. Dr. Pimple Hopper is like. Oh my. I'm gonna bomb it. Uh, show us your DMs. Oh man. Okay. Wait. What do you want to see? I just want to see who's DMing. Your Instagram DMs. Here, I'll show you. Okay. Are there any pictures in there? Of me or no? Of people sending you stuff. You can, what do you want to see? Do you want? <laughs> I will verify no, that he is like that he is fire. Love you, activist. <laughs> whatever. There's no. It's not what Alexander was expecting, no, but it's what, what I, I what, what I knew would be there. Like dirty eggplant, eggplant, eggplant. Are you grocery shopping? 
That's oh, what I stuff like that. No, yeah. but this is why. So this is um, why I tell people like if I don't answer your message, just send it again because like it. it I get a lot. It's a lot of the same. Yeah. So if you're going to slide into his separate, DMs, do they something should separate different. separate reactions from messages. They yes. should. They really should. Or like five Instagram? words or more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I mean, look, there's primary in general, and, and you can move people into different things, but... Oh, I will say, I, like, I'm not by any means putting myself in your category of the m- amount of messages you get, but, like, I will get um, ones that don't go to primary, mm-hmm. and, like... I'll see them like six months later and I'm yes. like, oh, so you're like, sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, that happens a lot. All right. That was our truth or sip or sing. <laughs> and we just answered all the questions. Okay. 